These are the IRS trailing arm conversion brackets Washburn's Metal uses in the shop when they need to convert a chassis from swing axle to IRS. Where the torsion tube meets the frame horn is where the right side bracket will be installed. With the bracket's bung resting on the edge of the frame horn, a sharpie is used to mark the rough location of where the bracket will go. Next, a cutoff wheel is used to remove the frame horn seam. The area of the seam that fits up to the torsion tube is also cut, and it should look like this after the seam is removed. Cuts are carefully made inside the marked area at first. and then continue cutting on the lower section as well. More through cuts are made on both the upper and lower sections. By using a pry bar and then vice grips, the pieces can be removed. A small belt sander removes the rest of the factory weld from the torsion tube. The removal of the end of the parking brake tube is next. A long punch helps to remove the end of the parking brake tube. Small amounts of the tunnel are filed away to get even closer to the marked line. Now the bracket can be checked for fit. You can also see how only half of the bracket sticks out from the opening. A mark is made where the new hole for the parking brake tube extension will go. Three sizes of drill bits will create the hole for the new parking brake tube section, ending with a step bit. A steel punch is used to horizontally widen the hole. A new short section of parking brake tube is inserted, and the old and new tubes do not line up with each other yet. But by using a couple of vice grips, both tube pieces can be moved in line with each other. A small section of larger tubing is cut to fit over the parking brake tube to make a coupler, and it's shown in a test fit here. Once satisfied with the fit, the back end of the coupler is welded on. The coupler is then slid over the old tube and then welded, and more welding is needed on the outside of the tunnel to secure the new parking brake tubing. Washburn's metal uses a jig, so they can correctly locate the exact location of where the bracket should be, and it mounts using the torsion plate cover holes on the outer end and this torsion arm mounting bolt that Washburn sells, which secures the jig to the bracket. Now the final welding of the bracket can begin. It's about halfway done here. The hole where the original parking brake cable tube exited was also welded up. Welds also need to be made inside the bracket where it meets the axle tube. After the chassis comes back from sandblasting, it'll then get powder coated and the rest of the suspension components can be assembled. This swing axle to IRS conversion is just one of the dozens of custom options available when ordering a chassis from Washburn's Metal. You can also purchase everything else needed to complete the swap, including refurbished and powder-coated factory VW trailing arms and a host of other suspension components. And be sure to check out nearly 200 other items Washburn's manufactures or sells on both their Washburn's Metal Shopify site as well as their website. And also see more videos at Washburn's Metal YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.